So I guess what we're assuming at this point is <laughs> the orange juice glass bottle was used in some sort of altercation in the cafeteria between Max and uh, Ben, although probably Ben's puppet, about uh, who was allowed to hit on the 16-year-old, basically. Yeah, it's possibly really creepy, but we'll figure it out as we go along. Anything else in the cafeteria? Uh, the game does put a lot of, like, references to old stuff that's easy to miss anyway, so... Yeah, 16 in robot years is way different than 16 in human years, probably. He gets a VIP table, ooh. It is kind of teeny. And she does have a thing with hamburgers. Um... Is that like a cigar? The puppet could be a robot too, actually. Yeah, that's that's a good point. Maybe the ro maybe the puppet is what controls Ben. All right, I think we've got the same message here. Maybe, yeah, we got that already. Check back in the kitchen once, and I think we're probably all we needed to do was get the uh, the, the the glass bottle. Maya's killer hamburger. Uh, I mean, like I said earlier, she probably gets her third murder free now, so I guess maybe she can get away with it. There's a little TV in here. All right, let's continue on. Maybe we can go talk to, uh, to Max now. Or maybe we can find someone else who knows what this is about. Probably not. It's really easy to make her happy, though. She just switches into cute bounce mode. The programming, whatever the, the whatever the scans that turns her into this mode is a really easy trigger. Um, unless someone's hiding in the, the ringmaster's room. No. So much sparkle. All right, we could try presenting the glass bottle that probably broke his buddy, but I doubt it's going to get us very far. Yeah, I don't think you can get anything out of him until we get uh, the t puppet back. I think, honestly, it's worth trying to go back to Max right now. Hopefully he's out. There we go, much better. Yeah, apparently we're all sweeties here. We've got Blue's Clues ready to go. Let's make this fabulous. So we could run the clues by him or we could try to get his Russell meeting out of the way. Um, I think maybe I'll ask him a couple questions about some of the people first. So, let's ask him. I think last time he said he was all excited about the Regina. One of his many sweeties. Yeah, special. Alright, let's ask him about Ben then, because maybe... Now, Ben's 31. <laughs> I don't remember how old Max is supposed to be, but 31 to 16 is... I think you're crossing a couple lines at that point. Uh, how many years have been going on with you trying to charm her? It's bad enough at 16, but like, 
if it's been a couple years, then he would have been 19 and she would have been like 14. Someone's going to jail for something other than murder. No. Let's see, what does it say? Yeah, it says he's 21. I guess 21 to 16 is, in my mind, kind of the... That's the very limit. But, I mean, if he's been chasing her for a long time, it gets worse. Like, fairly quickly. Unless she really is a robot. And she's looked 16 for years, you know. Alright, he doesn't recognize- he doesn't recognize the clown. 18 to- no, 18 to 13, no way. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, if that's three years ago, no, that'd be not acceptable. Um... I don't know how long he's been in showbiz, though. I, 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 th I thought it sounded like he kind of joined the circus after already being a magician for a while, is what, it's th I, what I thought, but maybe I'm crazy. Uh, let's just ask him some questions. It could have been six months. Yeah, I mean, these people have funny ways of looking at things. The Jurassic Geriatrics. He didn't make very many friends. Her dad wouldn't give you permission, so you kill him. And she goes, so cool. That is also true. The robots aren't very good at remembering minor details like that. They didn't realize it was a sentimental as humans would normally think they are. Um, right, so maybe instead of asking for a raise, he was asking for his daughter's hand in marriage. Oh, look at this. Remember the photo we have? Let me just pull that up right now. Ah, uh, wrong one. Oh, we didn't actually get a photo for that. But that was what Mo was telling us about. Yeah, we don't actually have a picture of it, but that image has been used already. present any evidence or do we want to go straight for the uh straight for the jugular of the lies we could ask him about this broken bottle no all right it's lie detector time hopefully we have enough to get through Alright, so we started this last time. He wouldn't tell us much about what happened from the meeting other than he said it was to negotiate salary. We do know for sure... I guess actually, when you say six months, 
if that's the if he's only been working at the circus for six months, that does sort of uh, solidify up the time frames we've been talking about. It's still pretty quick to be talking about marriage with a 16-year-old, but okay. He hates liars. All right, well, we know he's already been, like, this is a lie because he already negotiated his uh, salary a week ago. You weren't lying when you said that you received quite a raise, but the date. Aww, crying Maximilian. The Truth 2.0. Look, he's dead, and you're about to go to jail for murder. You could probably tell your attorney. So... Probably the fight? Now, I'm going to put some saves in again, just because, like, I don't want to lose all my life here. But I think, because there was a fight that morning, it would make sense that the boss would be like, all right, we need to talk to you about your violence in the cafeteria earlier today. That, that makes sense, right? He's a man of honor. Remember, he's a country bumpkin. All of this fancy charade is just an act. Like, he's actually not fabulous at all. He's just a... Homegrown farmer kid, basically. I don't think it just fell and broke. Ah, uh, now how do I prove that he used the bottle to break the doll? Because... I might not have anything that... I mean, it's, it's to hurt Ben and Trilo. I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna save it just because I don't want to lose, like, half of my friggin' life for one mistake. But, it, I don't know if there's something I was supposed to pick up before I came here, but, this is my guess, right? Like, what else could we, what else could we do? You use the bottle to break Ben's puppet. I think that's all that could possibly be. You're fighting over Regina Barry, Regina's Barry. Um, let's see. Yeah, we got it. You nailed him over the head with this bottle. Well, maybe. Trilo specifically, I thought. <laughs> Wart removal. All right, now the truth. He has a phobia of robots. Well, he shouldn't be marrying one then, jeesh. So you had a fight with the ventriloquist. Yeah, she uses she used her hypno wave attack to cause the two guys to fight over her. She probably downloaded it off the internet. I mean, you do see here hidden behind the text that there's this little puppet here and Ben's not even looking at him.
the sparkle brain brainwashing. There we go. Yeah, look at that. Ask for hand in marriage, just like a old-fashioned country guy would do. Sounds good to me. Have my 16-year-old daughter's hand in marriage. Yeah, 21-year-old creep. She would have to actually say yes, though, you realize. It's not as simple as just asking her father, you know, generally speaking. So you shut him up. Oh yeah, it's legal. I just mean like, keep in mind, Regina herself didn't say anything about marrying this guy. So as far as we know, this is a completely one-sided um, relationship. And her old man's like, sure, you can marry my daughter, have fun! Without actually talking to the daughter. Because she's a robot, and the dad was just like, yep, robot, you can marry it if you want. Alright, so... Trilo Quist, huh? Ringmaster's room. Alright. One last thing to do before the trial starts, I think. Who, who knows? Maybe Ben with his puppet really is a jerk, and it was the right thing to do. He's all shy and, you know, kind of non-intimidating now, but maybe you give him his puppet and he's a monster. Clearly magic. Or a heart attack. Either way, we'll find out eventually. It could be that Ben has been possessed by an evil puppet, yes? Maya the Thief. Aha! Call the police again. I mean, you gotta check the desk, right? No. So where would he hide? Well, there's a piece of paper in the uh, in the tuxedo, right? No. We're just not allowed to read that piece of paper. It's probably just a napkin or something, right? Uh, yeah, the ringleader was pretty... Um, I don't know if you can see it from here, but uh, 
Russell Berry was not a skinny man in his age. Um, I think we can still look at uh, his corpse. Well, you know, he's, he's not terrible, but, you know, he's, he's a bit rotund. He's got a belly. Um, so where else could it be hiding in the... this thing? No, not trophies. Oh! Behind the trophies! There we go, Trilo. Now, I don't remember a whole lot about the first time I played this game, but I remember hating Trilo, so... Look forward to it. So now we have, if we ever find Ben again, a way to make him talk, essentially. Operatic tenor who doubled as Ben's sidekick. He does look pretty evil. The Van Triloquist? Actually, that's Triloquist. The Ben Triloquist, yeah. Ben Triloquist? I think sub being a, a V for a B is pretty common, right? So Ben Trilo? There you go. Bam. Done. He's a murderer. We solved it. That's all we needed to do. So there's no Ben here. Is he in the cafeteria or something? There is no V in Japanese. Yeah, that seems something like that would make sense. I do indeed. All right. Well, you know what to do. Give the poor schmuck his t toy. So will this help our case, or will it hurt our case? We'll find out at court. There you go. Everyone say hello to Trilo. He's terrible. Alright, see you later, Tim. Mr. Quist, to you, sir! You 8-bit excuse for an attorney. <laughs> Even Trilo beats up Ben. So we found Trilo. I do see why Max eventually stole the puppet, though. I mean, has there ever been a ventriloquist that didn't make that joke?
So, it's the puppet that is asked out or is trying to ask out Regina. She doesn't quite realize the joy that awaits her, does she? It's my choice, not hers. I think we're going to need to bring this uh, pervert to uh, Detective Gumshoe and uh, finish wrapping up another case right here.